Hold on, Sam. Uh, congratulations and, and good to talk to you. I guess your your week's been you, – you've known that you were going to have this opportunity to, to be a part of this game, but uh, probably not necessarily knowing that it was going to come down to the final kick. Um, what was what was the week like leading up for you, and and what was it like to to see that one? You know, even though it bounced, go in. Well, yeah, the week it was a little bit different this week. Yeah, you know, I kind of usually separated uh, practice a little bit separated from the team, but uh, you know, got to practice with the team this week, which was good, just to get around the guys and uh, get some working with Matt Overton. Uh, that was really nice to do, and uh, it was. I just prepped kind of like I was playing a game. And uh, you know, getting ready to go, and then the last kick, it came off my foot, and I knew it was good. So I was just, you know, super excited, super excited after they said it was good. Michael Hogan. Hey Sam, congratulations! I just want to know what what you felt like when that ball hit the upright. Have you ever had a more nerve wracking moment in any point of your football career than that? Uh, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> You know, I really didn't think, uh, yeah, I, I knew it was good off the foot. I didn't think it was going to be too close immediately. And then, you know, I saw the ball, but it's a little bit nerve wracking, but I still knew it was going to be good. So I was pretty excited. Emily? Hey there. So you go from, you know, being away from all the teammates to uh, essentially being tackled by them after you make that. How, how much do you feel just really a part of this Titans team now after <laughs> that one field goal? I mean, I do a lot. They did a great job this week, you know, just getting to, uh, you know, start to know guys a little bit better. And, uh, You're a stud, Slow. Appreciate You're a stud, Slow. <laughs> but uh, they did a great job doing that. And just leading up to the game, uh, I just felt very comfortable around everybody. And it's just been awesome to see everybody so excited for me, you know, after, after that last game. Where, where does this rank among the important field goals that you've taken in your career? Oh, number one for sure. That's the first uh, last second field goal I've ever attempted in my life. So, Jim? Sam, I know you've kind of been working on your own uh, during the last several weeks. Is it possible that there are some guys on this team you've not even met yet uh, until today or, or still maybe have not? There, uh, yeah, so there's a couple. Um, you know, I'd come in usually during offense and defense meetings. So there's a few, but I'd, I'd still met most of the guys. And, and and anybody tell you about the significance of the number two here as far as a kicker goes? You familiar with Rob Ronis, Brett Kern, the guy who holds for you? Tell you about him. I know he set he set a record down here in Houston many years ago by kicking field goals. Yes, sir. I actually, uh, I was talking about him at practice on Friday. So uh, pretty, pretty cool to be wearing the same number as him. Last question, Paul. Uh, Rex. Yeah, Sam, and I'm, I apologize. I came in late on this, but just what, what has this week been like to, to go from you know, practice squad to active to knowing that, you know, you're in a, in a game of, of this magnitude. What, what's the whole experience been like for you? I, you know, it's a pretty crazy experience, but it's just one of those things you can't, you know, you can't really get, uh, you know, too exciting. You still got to focus on doing your job and having a good week of practice and a good week of preparation uh, just for the game. So, yeah, I was super excited. Yeah, I kind of took a second, uh, you know, kind of realized what I was going to go on this week. And then I just treated it like, you know, I've played a million other game weeks so far, so that was kind of my mentality going towards it.